uh, Jahid Campbell. Uh, he is out of the IMG Academy, also in Florida. Uh, here's another really highly ranked guy. Uh, not as highly ranked as Kenyatta Jackson or uh, Anai White, who is the next player we're going to talk about now. If I'm mispronouncing that first name, I apologize. Uh, he is out of Emotep Institute in Philadelphia, a town that Ohio State has been making a lot of inroads in recently. Uh, he is uh, the number two uh, weak side defensive end in the country, top 30 in the uh, just total, and the number one player out of Pennsylvania. That's a huge, if you can get white out of eastern Pennsylvania, like Ohio State has stolen some really great players out of Western PA. Last year, they stole two amazing players out of Western PA. If they can continue that trend, then I just it's 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 basically a spike in the heart of Penn State. Yes. Um, maybe someone that's probably more realistic here, perhaps. Um, Keenan Nelson Jr. out of um, Pennsylvania here. Yeah, here's another Philadelphia kid. Uh, Kyle, you see what high school he goes to? Goes to so. Ugh, ooh. Let's try that again. Goes to St. Joseph's Prep School. Now, you want to talk about a prep academy that Ohio State has a foot in. This is where McCord and Marvin Harrison Jr. are both from. So, you, again, you want to talk about going into Pennsylvania. You know, we already talked about how Ohio State is trying to get the number one player white out of Pennsylvania, out of the Phil, not only out of Pennsylvania, but eastern Pennsylvania. Ohio State's stolen a lot of kids out of the Pittsburgh area. That's old hat. Eastern Pennsylvania. Best two players, both in Philadelphia. And Ohio State's in great position for both of them. Do they end up getting both of them? Time will tell but I'm putting both of them in my final class prediction. So it tells you how I feel. 